and welcome to Prop Box Tales. My name is Rosie and I am a storyteller and I'm really excited you joined us today. But you know what? Being a storyteller is quite hard work and I might need a little bit of help. Do you think you could help me tell my story? You can? Oh, thank you. <laughs> huh, the storytellers. What is our story today? I know, let's check our prop box. Come on. Okay, storytellers, time to check our prop box. What's our prop today? Oh. A rabbit? Huh. Now what story has a rabbit in it? I know. Maybe it's Peter Rabbit going on his adventures. Hmm. But Peter Rabbit has a nice blue coat. I know. Maybe it's Alice in Wonderland. Maybe it's the rabbit that leads Alice down the tree and into Wonderland. Hmm. No. That rabbit has some white gloves and a watch. So what story are you from? Oh. Oh. Silly me, sorry, it's not a rabbit, it's a hare. So you must be from Tortoise and the Hare. Oh, fabulous, I love that story. Okay, storytellers, so we're gonna need some props for our story. You're gonna need a party hat. It's okay if you don't have a party hat at home. You can wear any hat that makes you feel like dancing and celebrating. We're also gonna need a medal. If you have one at home, you can use that for the story. Or if you don't, don't worry. You can check out our video on how to make your very own medal using some ribbon and some paper or card. Right, we've got our props. Let's start Tortoise and the Hare. Come on, storytellers. Okay, storytellers. So how do we start our story? With Once Upon a Time, of course. Let's do it together after three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Once upon a time. Good job. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful forest and in this forest lived many animals. There was badger. I'm gonna act out badger now. I think you could act out being a badger as well. This is my badger and my story. Oh, hello. Yes, hello, Badger here. Nice to meet you. Very well. Yes, good, good. I, uh, I help arrange the events in the forest, make sure everything goes according to plan. <laughs> it's lovely to meet you. <laughs> That's Badger. There is also Fox. What does the fox in your story act like? This is the fox in my story. She goes like this. Hello, my name is Fox. Lovely to meet you all. I'm very popular in the forest and um, if you ask people, they'll tell you I'm very funny as well. If you're lucky, I might be able to tell you a joke later. <laughs> That's Fox in my story. Then there was also Tortoise. What's the Tortoise look like in your story? This is the Tortoise in my story. Oh, hello. My name's Tortoise. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. I hope you enjoy your time in the forest. <laughs> That's Tortoise. And the last animal is Hare. What's the hare like in your story? This is the hare in my story. Hello, I'm Hare. You've probably heard of me. I'm the best at everything in the forest. Don't listen to anybody else. I'm the best at Absolutely everything. The best, the best, the best. Oh, that was hair. So all the animals in the forest lived together and they all got on for the most part. They would gather together to celebrate things together, like birthday parties. Here you go. Let's grab our hats, everyone. Got your party hats? This was a badger's birthday party and all the animals gathered together to celebrate and sing happy birthday to him. Hey, why don't we sing happy birthday to Badger as well, storytellers? Ready? After three. One, two, 
three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Badger. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> awesome storytellers, give yourselves a round of applause. Well done. All the animals cheered for Badger. He was so happy. But then one animal stomped in front of everyone and said, oh, why are we singing for Badger's birthday? We should be singing for my birthday because I'm the best at everything. I'm the best at singing and I'm the best at having birthdays. So I think we should sing happy birthday to me. And then the hare started singing happy birthday to himself. Hey, why don't we pretend to be the hare singing happy birthday to ourselves? Ready? Let's go. One, two, three. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. I'm the best. Happy birthday to me. Oh, all the animals shook their heads. Hare was always doing things like this. Good job, storytellers. Pop up our hats. Another event in the forest calendar was the talent show. All the animals would get together to show their talents, singing and dancing and Fox would always show off her comedy skills. So she would do a stand-up routine and it would make everyone really, really laugh. Like, let's pretend we're Fox doing our routine, okay? <clears throat> Hello, hi everyone, it's time for my stand-up routine. I know we're all excited. Ready for my joke? Are we ready? Okay. What do you get if you cross a fish with an elephant? And all the animals asked, I don't know. What do you get when you cross a fish with an elephant? Fox smiled and said, swimming trunks. <laughs> all the animals laughed and laughed, except for one, Hare. He stomped onto the stage and he said, you're not that funny. I think I'm really, really, really funny. In fact, I'm gonna tell a joke that's much better than yours. Are you ready? All the animals stopped and watched as he said, <clears throat> what do you call a fox that's trying to be funny? The animals all asked, I don't know. What do you call a fox that's trying to be funny? The hare smiled and said, huh, not. <laughs> the animals shook their head. Hare was always doing stuff like that. One animal in the forest who wasn't was Tortoise. Tortoise was always kind and generous. She helped to plan Badger's party. She clapped and cheered loudly for her friends and she was always supportive of everyone. And she watched Hare do this. She was not too happy. And then sports day came around, a big event for all the animals. They did lots of events like, like jumping. Should we do jumping together? What, how high can you jump? Very good. You can jump with your shoulders, your head, or with your whole body, or around your space. Very good jumping, everyone. They did swimming. Can I see your swimming storytellers? Splash, 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 splash. Very good swimming. They also did tennis. So grab your tennis rackets. Let's see if we can play some tennis. Very good. Nice. Good tennis, everybody. They also had javelin. So let's get our javelin and let's throw it. Big throw, ready? One, two, three. Oh. And the final event was running. Now, the hare boasted about all of these events. I'm the best jumper. I'm the best at swimming. I'm the best at tennis. I'm the best at javelin and I'm definitely the best at running. Hmm, now Tortoise was watching this and thinking, come on, let's see what Tortoise is gonna do, come on. Okay, storytellers. So, Tortoise had been watching Hare. She watched as he boasted about being the best singer. She watched as he boasted about being the funniest animal. 
And he, she also watched him boast about being the fastest runner. So she decided to go up to Hare and say, Hare, you've been boasting about being the fastest runner, but you've never run against me. The Hare laughed and said, oh, well, that's because I beat you in like two seconds flat. The tortoise smiled and said, hmm, well, we've never raced, so how would you know? I challenge you to a race a week from now on sports day. The hare thought about this, laughed. <laughs> okay, if you want to look silly losing against me, we'll race. The tortoise smiled and said, we'll see about that. And so the tortoise set about practicing for the race. Every day she would go out and she would run and practice all day. The hare would watch this and say, ha, practicing? I don't need to practice for the race. I'm going to beat you easy peasy. The tortoise just smiled and said, well, we'll see about that and continued to practice and practice and practice. The day of the sports day arrived. All the animals were super duper excited. Fox was busy setting up all the events. Badger was busy making sure everyone was doing as they were meant to and setting up everything. And Hare was busy sitting, not helping at all. I'm not helping. Tortoise was busy practicing. Still practicing her running and warming up. I tell you what, should we warm up with tortoise? Yeah, that's a good thing to do before you do exercise, isn't it? Come on, let's warm up together. Come on. Okay, storytellers. So tortoise is gonna warm up before she exercises, which is super, super important thing to do. Should we warm up with her? Yeah, good stuff. First thing she does is she stretches her arms out as far as they can go. Good job, storytellers. And then up up as tall as they can go. Very nice. And then she takes one arm and she does a big circle with one. Good job. A big circle with the other arm. Nice work, storytellers. Reaching up with one arm and reaching with the other one. Good job. Lovely warming up. Then we're going to make big circles with our hips. That's it. Good stuff. One way. And then the other way, nice. And then circle with our knees, you ready? Circle our knees one way, and then the other way. Circle our feet one way, and then the other way. Good job. Another thing the tortoise does is she likes to give her body a nice shake all down. And she does that by shaking one hand, and then the other, and then one foot, and then the other. And she counts down as she does it. Should we do this with her? We're going to do eight, and then four, and then two, and then one. And then at the end, we're going to jump up and say, go tortoise. Yeah, that will really help her out. Right, pick a hand to start with. That's it. Good job. And we're going to count together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other arm. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we're going to do four. Ready? One, two, three, four. Other arm. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two now. Ready? One, two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one, 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 one. Go tortoise! <gasps> well done, everyone. Good job, storytellers. So the tortoise was all warmed up, even while the hare was sitting, <laughs> laughing at her. She ignored him, and the two contestants went to the starting line. 
And Badger was there and he said, <coughs> on your marks, get set, go. And the hare ran off really fast. Like, how fast can you run? Oh, very good. Oh, he ran off that quickly. Right all down the track, off he went, saying, ha, 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 I'm going to win. Speed and pace will win this race. <laughs> the tortoise paid no attention. She just started to run and she sang a song. Shall we sing it with her? Let's make your tortoise arms. There we go. And we're going to be going slow and steady, just like tortoise. And she sang a song as she did it. It goes like this. Slow and steady wins the race, moving on at my own pace. It's not about how fast you run, try your best, have some fun. Good job, storytellers. Fantastic work. So, the hare was way, way ahead of the tortoise. He was running and running and running. And then he looked back saw that Tortoise was way behind and said, huh, I have time to have a little sit down. I'm going to do that. And so he sat down and had a wee rest. Should we join him? Come on. So storytellers, the hare was so far ahead that he decided to have a sit down and a rest. Hmm. But then he got a bit bored. I'm a bit bored. I'm going to go get an ice cream. So the hare went off, got an ice cream and came back and ate his ice cream. What ice cream flavours are in your story? The hare in my story is having mint chop chip, strawberry and chocolate. Oh, good job storytellers. So the hare finished his ice cream and he looked back to see what the tortoise was up to. She was still going. Slow and steady wins the race. Moving on at my own pace. It's not about how fast you run. Try your best. Have some fun. And he thought, well, I guess I have a bit more time. So he got out his tablet and started playing some games. Hmm. Oh. oh no. And then he finished his game and he looked back and the tortoise was still going. Slow and steady wins the race, moving on at my own pace. It's not about how fast you run, Try your best, have some fun. And the hare thought, well, she's still so far behind. Oh, and I'm getting a little bit sleepy. Maybe I'll have a nap. So the hare had a little nap. Should we have a little sleep, just like the hare? Yeah, come on down, storytellers, and have a little sleep. How loud can you snore? I want to hear really loud snoring, ready? Shh, shh, oh, very good snoring. And as he slept, the tortoise kept going. Slow and steady wins the race, moving on at my own pace. It's not about how fast you run, Try your best, have some fun. She kept going. She kept going till she caught up with the hare. She kept going as she went past the hare. She kept going as she went on to the finish line. Oh, the hare was still snoring. Shh, shh. Oh, and he woke up. Ooh, could be the hare waking up. Let's do a big stretch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice to do a big stretch. Ah, the hare looked back to see how far the tortoise had got. But he couldn't see her. Oh, 
maybe she's so far behind that I can't even see her. <laughs> well, time to go win this race, I guess. And he looked towards the finish line. <gasps> and he saw the tortoise almost there, singing. Slow and steady wins the race, moving on at my own pace. It's not about how fast you run. Try your best, have some fun. Uh-oh. The hare was like, oh no, she's going to win. I have to run as fast as I can. So he did. He ran super duper duper fast. Can you show me your super duper duper fast running? As fast as you can. Fast, 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 fast. He ran and ran and ran and ran and ran. But the tortoise had just crossed the finish line. <gasps> Amazing! The whole forest cheered and clapped for Tortoise. She had won the race. The hare got over the finish line, <gasps> out of breath. <sighs> oh. I lost. The tortoise went up to him and said, yes, but it's not about the winning. I hope you've learned your lesson and that you'll be kind and generous to the other animals. Hare thought about this. He realized he'd not been very nice. He went up to Badger and said, I'm, I'm sorry, Badger. Badger said, oh, Think nothing of it, good man. He went up to Fox. I'm really sorry, Fox. Fox said, it's okay. I mean, I was still really funny that night, so it's okay. And the, then he went up to Tortoise and he said, oh, I'm really sorry, Tortoise. Tortoise smiled and said, it's okay. Just remember to be kind and generous. So the race was done and all the animals went to collect their medals. I'll tell you what, should we collect our medals as well? Come on up everyone, let's go get our medals. Okay storytellers, it's medal time. But before that, we need to remember to warm down because that's important after you exercise. So the tortoise said, right everyone, let's all warm down together, it's very important. And the hare said, warm down, I don't need to warm down, I'm the bestest runner ever. And he stopped and he said, oh, sorry, old habits. And together all the animals warmed down after the sports day. Should we warm down with them? Let's do our stretches again, ready? Big wide arms, that's it, as wide as you can. Good stuff. And stretching up as tall as you can. Very good, everyone. Big circle with one arm. Big circle with the other arm, reaching over with one arm and over with the other. Let's make big circles with our hips, one way and the other way. Let's circle our knees one way and the other way. Let's give our feet a little shake one way, shake the other way. Good stuff everyone. Ah, and all the animals were nice and warmed down and it was time for medals. So Badger presented the medal to Tortoise. <coughs> I, Badger, present this medal to Tortoise for winning a spectacular race and for her kindness and generosity to others. Tortoise! She put on the medal and all the animals cheered for her. In fact, should we all cheer for Tortoise? Should we say hip, hip, hooray all together three times? <gasps> Let's go for it. Ready? Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <gasps> Tortoise smiled and laughed and everyone was clapping and so happy. Everyone, apart from the hare, he looked a bit sad still and felt bad for everything he'd done. Tortoise saw this. So she went up to him, she took off her medal and presented him with it. <gasps> what the? This is your medal. You won it, not me. Oh. Tortoise smiled and said, oh my dear hare, 
it's not about winning medals. I want you to have this and wear it. And whenever you do, to remember to be kind and generous to all the animals in the forest. Hare couldn't believe it. He put on the medal, wore it with pride. <laughs> and then all the animals had a party. Oh, party hats, everyone. So all the animals in the forest got together to celebrate the end of the sports day. They all did different dances like, what's your badger dance like? This is my badger dance. Very good. What's your fox dance like? This is my fox dance. What's your hair dance like? This is my hair dance. What is your tortoise dance like? This is my tortoise dance. Very good everyone, lovely dancing. So they danced and celebrated the night away. And you know, Hare, he was as good as his word. He was always kind to others. He helped plan all the events in the forest. He clapped and cheered loudly for his friends and he was always a good sport on sports day. And you know what? The tortoise, well, she found she quite liked running and so started going running every Sunday with hair beside her, cheering her on. And they all lived happily ever after. Well done, storytellers. Give yourselves a big round of applause, a big pat on the back. Good job. Thank you for helping me tell my story. But, you know, the story doesn't have to end there. Like, what happened next? What other events did the animals all get together for? Did the fox tell any more jokes? What jokes can you think of that the fox might say? And tortoise and hare, did they race again? Where did they race to? <laughs> the story can keep going at home. And it can also keep going with some of our online activities. Want to keep the story going? Head to Hartford Theatre's website. Click on the Prop Box Tales page and you'll find lots of information about our month's story and also some printable activities to do at home. Each activity is themed to the story and can be done before or after the story time. Thank you so much for helping me tell my story today. If you enjoyed it, please check out the donations page at Hartford Theatre. It helps keep theatre alive and create more content like this. So storytellers, all that's left to say is... Thank you storytellers, I hope that you had fun. We've been on our adventure and now our story's done. But fear not storytellers, for when you close a book, a new adventure's waiting, you only need to work. So Bye everyone, see you soon.